Thankfully, you know, we have a finally a positive Brittany Griner update. Uh, finally, uh, in the early hours, early morning hours of December 8th, we would find out that Brittany Griner was finally re released from Russian custody. The United States released Russian arms dealer Victor Boot in the exchange, according to multiple reports on Thursday. Griner had been imprisoned in Russia since her arrest on February 17th on drug charges. She had been convicted and given a nine year sentence, spending 294 days in Russian custody. Um, it's great to just finally see Griner uh, be able to get away from all of that, you know, just considering how hellish, you know, I had imagined that being um, and just hope that things are, you know, going to go well. I know that uh, over the weekend I had read the report that she had uh, gotten a workout in. Uh, first thing that she did was dunk. So that's nice to see, but just, you know, keeping track of this timeline yahoo sports did a great job of sort of highlighting this back in february 17 february 17th she was detained going through security at an airport after officials found vape cartridges containing hashes oil in her luggage uh russia didn't announce that for several weeks though so with russia going through uh their uh troops invading ukraine this complicated Griner's return before a lot of people even know that this was a thing that was taking place, you know, um, May 3rd the government classified Griner's wrongfully detained. Uh, the WNBA put the BG logo on every floor on the courts. Uh, just, you know, really tough such a situation to follow really. And, you know, having the tough uh, update that we did for you last week and just glad that, you know, just a few days after a few days after that, we have a positive update to share for you. Um, and just, you know, just to address the sort of comments and the stupidity that we get whenever we had give updates on Brittany Griner. This is an American citizen. You know, I have to put that up there as one gold for this country on multiple occasions. Whereas, you know, the red, white and blue represents this country on s several different occasions was prescribed. This is medically prescribed. Um, it's the hashish oil. I'm not too, you know, up to date on THC and all that. But she, this was medically prescribed. It wasn't just, oh, she had weed, do the crime, do the time sort of thing. This is medically prescribed to help deal with pain. And it was a much smaller dose than an actual, another American um, had been carrying, I believe, a few years ago. And she had gotten a much shorter sentence than the one Griner got from the start. This was a ploy to exploit Griner because of her status. And, you know, unfortunately, I know a lot of people get angry and say, you know, all these horrible comments because of who she is as a black woman in this country. Uh, just for shame, honestly, for shame, you know. So glad to have Griner back, really. Um, something I talked uh, about with our lead photographer, Liv Lyons, um, was that Griner had uh, shaved, you can see in the photo, her hair had shaved her hair off because of how in the uh, penal colony that she was in while washing her hair and then heading back to wherever she was would cause her to be really cold. So she had shaved her hair in preparation for the long run. Just a shame, just a damn shame. So glad to know that Griner is back in American custody and you know she'll take things day by day. Uh, but just glad to know that she's back and she's safe. 